working with it and just what has it been like kind of learning how to inherit obviously an abbreviated spring and only preseason. Having Coach Marv is just he he's gave us an example to to follow. His his standard for himself is excellent and that's the standard he holds for us. So we just we just try our best to follow that and try and be our best and that's excellence. Next will be Perry from Tom Hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? <coughs> uh, so just wondering, uh, you've got a few freshmen coming to the linebacking group. You still have like some people with you that you've been with. Uh, what are your early impressions of the people with you? Oh, the early impressions, well, of the freshmen, they just, they ready to work. They're eager. They're eager to be great. And we're trying, as older guys, we're just trying our best to lead, have a good example and a good impact on those guys. And uh, I know you're a few years older than him, but did you know Jarvis uh, Brownlee at all coming up? And what have you seen from him uh, uh, in camp? It sounds like uh, he's done a lot of good things. Well, I didn't really personally know him coming coming like out of high school and even when he was in high school, but I always like would see him because, you know, his high school was like literally down the street from where I lived in my high school. So I would always see him and I heard about him, but as far as now, like he's just he's just out there making plays and doing everything coach asks him to do. Whatever you need him to do, he's going to do it to the best of his ability. Hey, I mean, you, you talk so about the, the freshmen coming in. I mean, the depth that y'all's position, I mean, probably as deep as you, it's been kind of throughout your year. How, how exciting is that? It's kind of the increased level of competition. How does it contribute to all that? Oh, it's, it's an, it, the increased level of competition with the added depth, that just pushes everybody to go harder because it's not like you could you, you could have a, a, a off day because you know it's somebody breathing right down your neck trying to make you better and take your spot. So the depth, the well need, the depth was well needed as far as like competition and stuff like that. How do you think that the new defensive scheme under uh, Coach Fuller has been benefiting your specific skill elements? Well, I think I think the scheme it benefits me well because it just it lets me just go out and play play fast and that's that's really it. Just allows everyone to play fast. The the scrimmage Saturday, um, it sounded like the offense, listening to Coach Morvell today, it sounded like the offense had some good moments in the scrimmage on Saturday, but that uh, they didn't have much success at all today against you guys. Did you guys um, raise your level at all after the scrimmage Saturday uh, coming into this practice, and did you like the way you guys responded? It's not the fact that we raised our level. It's just, you know, some days the offense get us, some days we get them. But our level is always excellence, and we just strive for that. It's not like we go off days and on days. It was just we got them some days, and they, some days they get us. Next will be Avon, good afternoon. You know, you've had five years of, of different mottos, first season, and philosophies from coaches. What is it about this season? Is it something internally that's motivating you, or is there any sort of message that's well, internally, I always want to push myself to be the best, but also with the coaches, their message is you want to be the best and how you do one thing is how you do everything. Also, you need to go about every day like it's your last day, like you won't even get the next day. You need to get better by 1%. That's really the things that, that we try and hone, hone on and take to the heart. Mari is, has that energizer bunny in him. He's just going to keep going no matter what, no matter how tough it is, no matter the situation, no matter the down and distance. You're going to get 100% out of Amari from practice to the game to no matter what we're doing, you're going to be 100%. Well, the stress that they put on us is just you never know what you're going to get. Like, as far as, like, you can't just 
oh, it's a, it, we're running the spread, so we got to work on spread, and we got to hone in on their spread. They could give you spread one play and then give you something else another play. You just got to always be on your P's and Q's when you're dealing with our offense.